Thank you for joining me today on this creature feature. My name is Lauren Stewart. I'm a naturalist here at Mommy Bay State Park, and I have with me a very, very beautiful friend. This animal here is known as a Midland Painted Turtle. Midland Painted Turtles are very neat. They get their names because they appear to be like someone hand painted them. So if we get a little closer look, you'll see these nice, lovely colorations on my Painted Turtle. Now, Mid Midland Painted Turtles are also known as Pond Turtles. They are sliders. So they get the name Slider because they slide into the pond. Now, did you notice the turtle has its shell, and its shell is a defense mechanism. It's hard, um, it's bony, and it's very, if you're a predator and you're trying to eat a turtle, it's a lot of work to try to get through the shell. Now, this turtle can pull its head all the way in and its feet and legs mostly completely in. On land, they are not super duper fast because this shell does weigh a lot. However, in the water, they are actually quite hydrodynamic. If you look at its shell, it is compressed, so it's a nice, thin, kind of pancake-like shell that allows it to slip through the water very, very quickly. Now, this turtle is actually a very, very efficient predator. In the water, it's going to eat things like frogs, it'll eat fish, it will eat even small snakes as well. So, this turtle is a carnivore. As they get older, they tend to like to eat a little bit more vegetation. So they become more omnivore-like. They'll eat still meat as well, but they will eat some aquatic vegetation. But what's very, very neat is what they do in the wintertime. They are cold-blooded. They are ectotherms. They cannot derive heat from within. They do not generate their own body heat. They rely on the heat of the environment. So in the wintertime here in Northwest Ohio, it's, oh, we call it a little, at least a little bit chilly. Now, that cold temperature means that this turtle is also cold inside. So what they do as a nice adaptation is they do something called brumation. It's like hibernation, but it's temperature dependent. And this turtle will actually bury himself in the bottom of lake beds in the mud. And if you want to know a fun fact, turtles can actually breathe through their bottoms, their butts. Um, the technical term for it is called their cloaca. They require such little oxygen in the winter time because their metabolism is so so low because it is so very cold that they can absorb enough oxygen through their cloaca so that's what a lot of turtles do in the especially the aquatic turtles do in the winter time they kind of just hang on out in the bottom of the lake wait for it to warm up the pond river wherever they are and when it warms up they can pop back out and get ready to eat and breed again so this right here is our midland painted turtle This is going to be one of the most common turtles you encounter here in Ohio. They are pretty much distributed throughout the state, and they are commonly found along man-made ponds, natural rivers, creeks, and any body of water. You can sometimes even find them in retention ponds and ditches, even in more urban areas. So this here is our Midland Painted Turtle. And do remember, if you encounter a turtle that is crossing the road, these guys have to lay their eggs outside of water, otherwise their eggs will drown that a lot of times they end up having to cross over roadways and in more uh, developed areas. So if you do encounter a turtle that's crossing the road, just make sure you move the turtle, if it is safe for you to do so, in the direction that it was already heading. So again, this is the Midland Painted Turtle. Thank you for joining me today on this creature feature. And please feel free to like and share. Thanks, have a great day.